Um. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Welcome, everyone. I hope you can hear me. I hope you can see me. Uh, winter is here. I'm back with the... <laughs> ay, ay. Yes. Thank you for joining. Um, Nonek, thank you for being here. All right, cool. Today we have Midinus, Midinus, and Visivirek. Midinus and Visivirek. <laughs> Just need a bit more volume. Oh, yes. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, yeah, so we have something interesting today. Um, not that the last times were not interesting, but uh, we have two software in one stream. Is a Ted low? All right, let me see if I can do something about it. And what can I do about it? I can do this. I hope this will be better. I hope this can be better. Yeah, so today we will create something. Uh, I, I, uh, I can only um, guess that it will be a bit generative. <laughs> With Midunus as the sequencing um, part and VCVREC, maybe also sequencing with VCVREC, but uh, sounds from VCVREC, all sorts of different uh, interesting things we will do today, I hope. This is the first time I'm checking it out with streaming. So we might even build two patches depending ho on how my CPU will uh, will survive. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So basically Midinus, it's a MIDI sequencer. MIDI, yes, there is Reaper, VCV, Midinus and OBS all at the same time. And also the... Um, Firefox, so YouTube uh, <laughs> streaming thingy. So we will see uh, how many things we can do uh, in one patch, but maybe we'll build two patches or three patches or four patches. We will see how it goes. So basically, Midinus, a, a software MIDI sequencer that has something very cool that I'm not so sure I understand why other software don't have this as well. And this is uh, its own MIDI, MIDI device, which means that if I go here in VCV Rec, Right, I have Midinus as the MIDI device, which is amazing. I don't understand why Ableton doesn't have something in this Cubase, Reaper, whatever. It's a built-in, it's its own MIDI device, which is genius, I think. The only thing that's a bit of shame uh, with, um, with VCV that the uh, MIDI clock is not so stable, but still. Still, so it has its own MIDI device, which is quite, quite cool. Imagine that Ableton had something in this or whatever. Um, would have been great. Would have been great. Okay, so thank you for joining again, everyone. Let's start. Basically, we can start creating a sequence. Um, this is working with the grid, as you can see. Then we can enter points and connect them in all sorts of ways, as you've seen in the introduction in the uh, starting soon sequence yeah no need for loop back no need for anything it just it works just like this it just it just works <laughs> um, which is quite cool so it's not a vst but it has its own midi device that you can use quite easily in any software not just vcv but i will use vcv um, yes so we can choose the tempo i will go with something a bit slower let's say 110 and already something I noticed uh, from the beginning is that it's nicer to use a higher resolution. Right here is the clock resolution, if you will, because then you can enter notes also in between and create all sorts of uh, interesting things. Right, so it can be quite cool. And then we can just, let me show you something really simple and we will continue from there. Um, we can just enter points, right? Let's say something like this. 
and let's say something like this and then we can connect them right so this will be the start it will go here then it will go to there it will go to this and it will go to the last point right this will be our uh, starting point i hope you can see everything right and now i can hit play and you can see that it's moving by the way nona can i change the mouse uh, configuration uh, I would love to have it the same as in VCV, but uh, never mind. Right, and then we can add a voice. So now we have a pitch and we have gates, right? And as you can see, it's working here. And basically, right? Maybe I can take them even here and then it's just sort of a floor on the floor. This is the basic, what you can do with this uh, is um, um, unlimited, but this is basically the idea here. So let's start doing stuff like this. Let's start adding a few more, a few more notes, a few more, um, let's do something like this, all right? And let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what we can do here. So first of all, let's say, let's say that this point right will go here i like to change them to straight lines i don't know why because it looks nice hey, hey electronic sounds audio <laughs> cool right and now let's say that from here and um, we can go no i want like this we can go once Right, I can create something like this, right? And now here I can say that this point will be a splitter. So it will split the point to two different directions in this case. Let's see, now for now they are all the same, right? For now they are all the same notes, of course. But what I will do, I will also change this to polyphony. So we can have also, let's say, four voices. We can have also polyphony, which can be, which can be quite, quite cool. And now what we can do is, I hope you can, you you could hear everything. Um, now, now we can add um, random notes. So here I can change the relative changes to be, for example, now all the notes are C4. I can go, let's say, three. Right, and they will just go up. So there's a chance that they will go one, two, or three um, notes up in the scale pentatonic minor. Right, but let's change this. So we can have interesting things. Now, what I can do is I can add here, for example, this, that it will be random, which means that there's a chance it will go up, there's a chance it will go in this direction, there's a chance it will go to the right. Let me change the click here. And of course, let's add all of the heavy reverb. Let's make this a tad slower. Right, 
right and I can say that I want it for example to go more often more often to the right right so I can add the weight of this path let to three for example and now right here it's three so now there is I can draw as many so here for example uh, pieces I think <laughs> Um, I can choose the MIDI channel, so I can have different cubes, different channels in the same patch. Right, I just have to change maybe the rhythms a bit. And then let's say, before we change the sound in VCV, I just want to make the, I mean, I. I the thing is you can lose really hours just by building a sequence before you even uh, <laughs> handle the sound itself but let's say that from here now it starts it's it's start, it, now it starts let's say that from here we will have another point which will be muted right another point which will be muted and another point that will be a chord. So let's say one, two, and three, right? And I will connect, it will go one, two, and three. And again, let's change them also to lines. I like it like this, right? And again, here it will also be a, sp ah, it will not be a split. Uh, let's see, if I do something the thing is I would love if you want to run two cubes yeah sure you can run two cubes on the same channel totally yeah you can create as many cubes you don't have to create cubes by the way you can create any shape you want this is the whole fun of this uh, sequence it's very visual and it's very um, playful I guess right so what I want basically is I want this one to be a splitter. All right, and then it will go to one, two, three points. Now here I have two things going on, right? It, I have here something that is muted, but I have also this chord. So now here, this will also be with probability. So sometimes it will go to the empty chord, like now, and sometimes uh, to the empty, um, or that sometimes it will go to this chord that I have to, who will be something like this. very ambient oriented this uh, blah, blah, blah. what set up a divided point all right with the path rate of three then it will send three leading out into a portal to send the signal to every output on the portal point path rate affects number of travelers yeah um, okay set up a divided point let's say that this is a divided point with a weight of three um, dun, 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 dun. um where is the Let's let's uh, remove this weight. I want it to be a bit more free flowing. So anyway, now let's change here also the notes, right? And then maybe change this also an octave up. And let's do here something else let's do here another thing so when it goes here oh man oh man alive it will do something like this let's say right and then here again let's change this to something like this 
and let's take them a bit. So what counts here is the distance between the between the oh man this is so nice right so we have one two one two and then one two i think this should be it and maybe this something like this. Now it's time to get back to this CP for a second because I need some delay. Some delay, some a bit. Now I can send also a MIDI clock. Send MIDI clock. Nice. And I can sync the delay with it. You can send MIDI to hardware using a DAW. Um, I'm not so sure you even need a DAW, but there's a chance, yeah. But you can send it also to hardware. Oh, all right, so you do need a DAW, okay. What we can do is we have also velocity. Um, I'm going to select all of them and set the velocity to one. And also the velocity we can randomize. So if I enter here 127 and going up, now we have also the velocity output that we can use. For example, and I'm going to switch between them. Haha! -ha. I'm going to switch. Do -do 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 one source which is the velocity um chances i think there is also a poly chances nice uh, do i need a poly chances yeah i do need the poly chances right so i'm going to switch between feedback and fm Nice. Hey, Kyle going wrong. <laughs> what was this? <laughs> Audible video. Hi. You can make different channel sequences for modulation. Yeah, let's do this actually. Let's listen to this a bit more. More water. Right, so now we have also velocity. Let's also add some some granularization here. Let's go with pitch shifter. Right. Let's do something like this. Let's see. Nice. 
nice. And let's see, where is the poly logic? I want to have the polyphonic gate um, to another chances for probability. Microcosm. <laughs> Maybe. Now, personally, I could listen to this for quite some time. I want to change this here. Um, oh, sorry for this. Um, have you tried out the tone cover blur module? No, not yet. I mean, yes, I tried it. I tested it when it was still in... Uh, no, it's still not released. But yeah, I tested it a bit, but... Uh, cheers, Fabian. But um, it got an update for version 2. So I'm basically, I'm waiting now for the... for version 2 to come out before I start with new modules. Stream volume is very low. Um, stream volume is very low. Um, maybe you can bring it up in on your side. Here it's hitting the red. Yeah, uh, actually it's not outputting CCs. very quiet all right yeah I will change it from not boxy let me just change this here it's very quiet it's very very quiet here I'm hitting more or less um, I don't know I can try let's see let me know if it's better Eddie. All right, let's do something like this. Let's take it all the way here and let's add a few more boxes here. Right. And also random. And also this. Oh, you know what? Those two. Um, those two we can ah now it's stopped right so I need to go back to the first one all right um, um, also here I will change them to one 27 and go up actually here yeah let's go up Let's take the notes also up randomly, but uh, let's go also here in octave up. What is it? C4, C5. All right. Wave folding as opposed to distortion. What's my take on wave folding as opposed to distortion? Um, Crop circles. Wave folding as opposed to distortion. Um, what do you mean? <laughs> I like both. Oh man, this is nice. Oh, 
Okay, let's create also a sort of an app. Let's say when it comes here, th this can go for hours, I can... <laughs> yes, indeed. Let's say when it comes here, right? I will split it here to another box that will be more of an... Maybe an arpeggio. One, two, three, four, five. Do -do 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 -do. Something like this, right? It will start from C. Let's just say that the velocity will be random already. Man, seriously, it's... It's fun. C, and let's go here with E flat, or D sharp in this case, I guess. And let's go with F and G and B flat, right? So now I'm going to do something like this. Uh, that's it, and split it. Yes. Do -do 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 -do. Um, Nonak, is there a way to change octaves for multiple um, notes? For example, I want to take those here an octave up. Oh man, but let's change, right? So let's say that the third will be random. Right? Also, this will be right. Also, let's say random going up. Oh man! <laughs> oh yeah. Shift Control. Oh, nice. Shift Control and plus. I hope it worked. Okay, now, all right. I saw the blinking. Funny copy of a note we see a quantize for bass. So oh, I, I have a better idea for this for a bass. I have a better idea. Draw his place in the space. I'm not sure, but I want to create something, another some another thing I want to create here. Let's create here another something that when it comes to this point, right? It will create something fun. I don't know what, but let's say... Let's say something like this. One, two... Right, something that will grow. Right, something... Uh, 
something like this let's say let's see how it will look like I'm starting from here all right something similar to what I did in the opening sequence I guess Hopalach. Um, I can write Hopalach also. <laughs> right. Um, let's say something like this. So this will have to be a split point that will go to here. Okay, maybe taking it an octave up was not so smart. All right. How do you open Midinus in your door? Midinus is uh, it's standalone. It's, it, you cannot open it in the DAW, but it has its own MIDI device. So it's really easy just to route the MIDI. You don't need any th third party something. No, it's not a VST, uh, the passing badger. It's a standalone um, software that if you can see here, for example, you see it has its own MIDI device. You can use okay right so when it comes here it will go through all of this again I will change the velocity to one in this case I will change the velocity to have okay let's not do one let's do velocity of 50 and I will go here with 50 plus and minus in this case right so there is a chance it will not play at all The starter notes I have here um, Supercell, right? And I'm freezing Supercell every once in a while. Um, okay, and you know what? Let's do this. Let's have another voice. The, all of those, right? All of what's going on here will be a different channel. So let's go with channel two, right? And let's have another voice. So let's do something like this. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm saving souls for the bass. Um, oh, let's go with energy. All right. Um, let's change it to something like this. Right. And now energy is also polyphonic, which means that I can choose now channel two, right? I have the same, it's the, it's still the same here, but this is channel two. Uh, we don't need the path weight. If I see channels, right? So th all of those are channel two. This is channel one, the FM operator, right? And I can also do something like this. I can add a note, which will be muted, and I can call it FM op, right? Opelach. FM op. Why is it not writing FM op? Not names. No, not, not names. Now, write FM op. Now, here I can add another one. Uh, let's put it here, right? And I can name this um, energy. Energy. So now there is a chance that energy will also be triggered on channel 2. Let's take the duration down. Duration is basically the gate length, right? And I can also here, I can, right? I can randomize it together with the notes. Uh, let's say an octave up. Cool. Okay, so let's set this up. Channel 2, we have channel 2, volt per octave, the gate will go to the multiply, or shall I use an envelope? Let's go with the multiply, what, why not? It's a sort of a VCA. Is there a tutorial, or you don't need this tutorial? There are, uh, uh, there is a live stream, I know, that you can watch, which, is, which goes through many of the features. And it's quite intuitive, to be honest. I mean, you place points and you it's quite intuitive. Yeah. 
Yes, it's a MIDI input just like a keyboard, just like hardware MIDI sequencer, it's the same. Now, ah, what's going on here? Ah, I made it the other way around, so I have to send... I have to send this one to this here. All right, now... All right, so it will go in this direction. And... Let's see, I don't know, let's connect it and see what happens. Um, I just need... I don't like it to be monophonic. Uh, polyphonic, I would like it to be monophonic. I don't know why I did it polyphonic, actually. I don't need polyphony. Right, because I have just one voice. No need for polyphony. For now, at least. Hey! Okay, let's wait for it. <laughs> it might take a while, but this is the whole point. Looks like a ship, I guess, so. Oh? Or maybe like Cassiopeia or something like this. Energy is amazing. I just I'm just waiting for energy to play. I will also place lots and lots and lots of delay. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, let's take all of them an octave down, first of all, now that I know how. And lots and lots and lots of delay. You know what? Let's use if I have already. Why not? Let's use a fun delay. I'm sorry that I'm uh, showing you all sorts of different toys. <laughs> uh, but I used it already in a live stream, so I can use it again. Other desert cities, granular delay. Um, let's randomize the pitch a bit, size. Right, more. Regain, and let's... <laughs> loud right I just want to do this sorry this was loud I'm sorry but what we will do I will add some hmm can it send out no I can it send out negative velocity I don't think so right so I will change also the velocity here to I said 50 and 50 um, no let's do this one 27 I like this patch already and the velocity will control the momentum which is FM and I will send this also to a filter just so I have more control and the filter will be modulated with an LFO. Right. Ice Locus, I think you will love it. I think it's right up your alley. <laughs> okay, and I think I will use an envelope generator. Oh, performance improvement is always welcome. 
Oh, I need to move my camera, I think, right? The logo is uh, right on my face. Yeah, for now, it's okay. Um, let's use an ADSR. Just so I have also the sustain. Right? Something like this. James, say hey. Add some rhythm to this. With an ever changing arp. I just I wanna listen to energy again. Let's wait for it. We have time. We have time. It's not even ten. Doki. I think it's it it can also work quite nicely for drums. Maybe we will look at this later with glitchy random drums. Yeah, sure. Maybe this will be the second patch or still in this patch. What I want to do now is do something like this. This will be channel 3. Right, and let's see. Uh, host effects. Uh, dash glitch. Hi, hi. Uh, host effects is uh, commercial, yeah. Comes with the host. Uh, with the host collection. Um, let me think. I'm, I'm trying to think of something that is also not so CPU intensive. That's the... That is the challenge in live streams. I don't remember if Bleak or Basil This was energy. Let's go with another energy. Why not? Okay, so I need another MIDI. MIDI news channel 3, right? And I need this to be the start point, right? And let's see. Let's start with this, all right? Let's see, it probably will be a bit loud. Okay. I'm just trying to create a sort of Like, I'm not so sure what it is. 
think it's this one here. When I move the clock. Squinky, yes, indeed, Squinky. Okay. Let's use... Bandpass filter with random voltage. And let's use also a bit of fun with FM. Right, I will use two chances, let's say. And two envelopes. So functions that will maybe I can do this actually that will open the FM just the clock cool I'm sorry I'm not looking at the chat, but I'm just trying to do something here. Okay, let's have a macro controller here that I can just play with this. Macro or micro map? No, let's go with macro. I will take the scale. Right, and this will go then to another VCA. Let me look at the chat. Shall I dare you to change document? Change document scale. What does this mean? Document scale. And what I wanted is the VC also to open, which will go to another delay. Yet another chronoblob, indeed. Right? Something like this. 
now. Create something like this. Yes. From Pentamino to something else. Um, yeah, sure, we can try. Sure. I just, I just want to finish this for a second. I like chances, I don't know, but uh, this is how it is. Let's see. Um, let's see. What scales are available? All sorts of Ukrainian Dorian. I would love to use uh, Miyako Bushi here, but uh, Prometheus. Wow. to change that's just the you should add Miyako Bushi here Ah, yes, yeah, so I wanted to, to show you this. I don't know if you're familiar with this module. It's quite new, the base from Sivli, which will basically help us create a base from a polyphonic signal. So I'm going to use the polyphonic volt per octave, and I'm going to use source in this case. Uh, I need a stereo. Let's go with the lowest. Now I should get the bass um, note. Oh. 
Kerry. Scary patch all of a sudden. All of a sudden it's a scary patch. soon Halloween <laughs> so I guess it's okay right <laughs> oh man some noise into the filter and we are set Not so sure. I just I do stuff uh, without thinking too much. I guess I'm just uh, it works. It's small. Probably, hopefully, also low on CPU. And I'm just using it for one purpose. Actually, I can also just take it on the mixer. I can take the lows out. I am the low. Cheers, Matthias. Something cool that can uh, that can be really fun is like a step that you can set to be activated every number of beats, I guess. Although, I mean, you can do this also on the grid. I will just do it here on the grid. The thing is, I don't want this to play. Right? I don't want this to play all the time. I want this to be... Right? Something like this. Yeah, saturation can also be great in the filter. Totally, yeah. Um, indeed, yeah, some drive. VCV is a lot on the GPU also, yeah. I believe, if I'm correct. Wow. 
VCV only CPU, I believe also GPU, I believe. Oscar Garcia. <laughs> is it Oscar Oscar that I think it is or which Oscar is it exactly? Drums, yes, let's try some drums. This is uh, will be a first for me, but yeah. Random idea mini news. How a node which is a document on its own, a nested sequencer within the sequencer. Man, this is a scary one. Boom, boom. Neutrino node on steroids, yes, totally. Indeed. Actually, it's a uh, neutrino node is more random than this, I guess. Okay, we need some chords. We need some chords. what we can do? Ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. <laughs> Let's use... Right, I will use again this... Wait a minute. I think there is another module from Sively. Spreads the nodes for incoming poly input with the set of a minimum interval distance. I'm not so sure if it will stay... Uh, I just need something. No, it will not... Monophonic. So what I will do, I will use another uh, one of those bass ones, just so I can get, right, something that I can use with a shift register. A shift register. Right, and let's use a clock divider. You saw the new addition for the clock divider for count modular? Hey, Craig! Um, exactly, so let's use a clock divider, let's divide this by something else than 16, let's divide it by 13, I guess. Right, and now... Um, let's, let's merge this to a polyphonic signal. One, two, let's go with four notes, let's say. And let's create a sort of an FM, sort of an FM chord thingy. Right, let's see. Let's go with uh, three. I'm not so sure what will happen now. I, I just need to... Um, ben, if you're already here, is there an update? Um, Is there an update coming soon for the orbit module with the level control? Or for V2, I guess, so you see V2.
קרי. Actually, what I will do is I will sum this into a mono. I will not use this one here. Right? And... And... Oh, I want to do something with the bass as well. Oh, 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 oh wow, I can use manipulator. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Now I want to use um, a quick LFO for panning. Right? And also some modulation for the pitch a bit, I guess. No, I'm just asking uh, Ben, uh, just uh, so I know, because... Uh, yeah, I'm not so sure why, actually. Just like this. I hope it's doing something, I'm not so sure. But now what I need is... What do I need? Like this. Let's wait for it. Ah, it's too short. Um, it's too short, it's too short. I need D gate. Someone recommended that I will play this new modular game, I guess? second let's see if it works no. yes Um, this new modular game, right, this uh, post-apocalyptic uh, modular game, but I think that VCV is a... Uh, <laughs> it's quite a game as well. Okay, I need another clock divider because I'm going to divide this by two. Signal state, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a... But what I'm trying to say is just like now with D-gate and everything, it's also like a puzzle, you know, sometimes. <laughs> pum, pum. Okay, let's try some drums, all right? I don't know how it will work. I'm not so sure how to approach this, if I should use different different channels, or shall I use different notes um, with polyphony, I'm not so sure, we'll see. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we will see what's going on. Ah, I wanted to do something with the base first of all. Uh, ah, it's already stereo. Right, never mind. Something else. Okay, let's go with drums. Let's see. I'm dividing the divided by 17th by 2. That's basically it. <laughs> sure midi notes good shepherd uh, I don't have I don't have this collection all right let's see something like this this will go back I don't know this will work drums let's try I don't know different MIDI channels or, or different notes let's try different notes uh, there is the MIDI gate I think this will work right uh, MIDI news channel 4 okay this will work this will work nicely even only 24 hours in a day yes indeed cheers create a few more steps here for the kick Chain it so I'm not looking.
create something here with velocity. Something here with velocity. Right, so this will be, let's say, velocity of 10. This will be, let's say, velocity of 25. This will be, let's say, of 50. This will be, let's say, 70. And this will be 100. All right. And now this will control the... Ah, uh, now I need... Looking at the chat, I'm sorry. Cheers, man, for you. Uh, Midi news level uh, channel uh, four here. Right. All of these will have velocity of one. take this to let's say start from 25 and then 50 60 I'm sorry I'm not looking at the chat 70 chords and octave lower all right chords and octave lower where are the chords here Lower. Done. sound an octave lower well it needs to take uh, a few steps a few triggers for this to work because it's sampling with the shift register
think the scale makes it scary, yeah. Let's change this to, to major, what do you think? Uh, melodic minor, pentatonic major, let's save it on the middle. The chords will change in a second. Chords are a bit scary still. Something is totally weird here. Tonic hole. is scary and pentatonic major. <laughs> I was, I'm, 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 I didn't, I wanted to do something and I forgot what. Hyatt's. sharp three even something changed all of a sudden no or just me this one <laughs> no medium is also sending clock yeah Let's use the delay from VCV and create all sorts of glitches.
out of it for a second, I'm sorry. the triangle. Midians is also sending a clock to sync the delays. Yeah. Uh, this is the blues one. Cheers, Jan. No, no, it's sending also a clock. You see I have here send MIDI clock on. Right? And it's coming out of the MIDI modules, uh, here for example, right, clock, yeah. The clock in VCV is not so stable, so if I use it for example now to run a sequencer, I mean it would work, and we can try it, actually we can try this. try so many things going on here is still in beta so I'm, I'm pretty sure it will be fixed signs of life I'm pretty sure it will be fixed uh, but I don't know what sequencer to use I'm I'm not so sure no it's in it's in the forum you can download it from the forum Soon I will add also something I can play with. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this and let's do this. Quantizer, right? We have C. What was it? Uh, blues or something like this, right? Is there a C blues here? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's mix the rows. Hoppala, what is this? Oh, the mixer, nice. One, two, and three. Right, I will just randomize this. And I will use the clock, actually the clock, from the MIDI module. But I would like, actually, maybe I will use the clock divider. Ah, wait a minute. Am I using here the clock? No, right? Okay, so let's use the clock here as 16th. Where is it? Right, and now I can use the clock for this. Um, yes, it's also on the forum. There is a whole, um, how is it called? The whole uh, section there about, a whole post about the uh, modules that are already available for version 2 that you can download. Sense of life, look, it's a bit uh, Cassio. <laughs> I'm not so sure. I need some structure soon, but we will see what will happen. Right, so now I'm going to mix them. And let's use another uh, oscillator. Uh, something again that will not take. Let's use, let's use basil. Let's see what happens with basil. 
right. And this is a long way to the mixer. possible to use the clock, actually. Now, the lovely vector mixer. And let's record. I hope you know this mixer from Nischi because it's amazing. Before I record, actually, I would like to listen to this. So I can pen. I'm using it basically for penning. You can use it for many things. But I'm using it for penning. Right? Uh, let me just look. What I'm going to do, sample and hold, right, uh, let's use the one, let's use, there is a new sample and hold from count modular that I want to try, super sample and hold, oh with probability, yes, 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 indeed, probability and level control, perfect, perfect, so let's offset it a bit, so it's uh, not at zero, take it down a bit, and I will trigger it with the first gate output right and this will change the levels of one of the channels so basically we'll have an ever-changing sequence actually great sphinx they are already quite uh, significant amount of uh, modules available for VCV2 and it's still in beta. Right, so... Right, so it's possible also to use the clock basically in VCV, but it's not stable. If we look for example at clocked, right, it works usually nicely with Let's use this one nicely with external signals. Um, right, you can see. Four. Right, it's not stable, but that's not a midi news problem. That's a VCV issue. Snoopy over the hills. Right. drifting a bit but again this is not a medinus issue this is this version of vcv which should be fixed in the next version some stability now let's 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 add some stability all right you hear that it's a bit uh, here and there if we can add some ratcheting to this with our gate.
Okay, I need a different Hyatt. I need just noise going through a filter <coughs> and the VCA and an envelope, right? Um, let's see. Super sample and hold. Nice. for channel 13 and let's see some modulation on the reverb hi hi Chances, um, again, I love chances. It's just perfect for for a lot of things. Okay, now I think I think there is a module from Vox Glitch. Uh, the break bit, I think it's called. Do I have it? Is it hidden? Oh, it's hidden probably. Auto break. Auto break. Auto break. Ah, I have to load a sample. No, I don't want to load a sample in this in this instance. In this uh, time. Man, I like this. Now, now there is a bit. Right structure. Let's create a crazy shape. I don't know for what, and then a solo, all right? And then I will play a bit. Let's see, there is a cool shape that, they, uh, that is available when you download it, like a flower or something. Let's see. Let's see. Let's try and create something nice. Let's say it starts from here. Right, and it goes, let's say... Something like this, right? No, maybe even another one. Right, and now let's see it also here. Okay, let's see. Did you go to Superbooth? No, unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. Right, but what we will do... By the way, it doesn't have to be only on the grid. I can deactivate snapping. Right, and I can just drag it wherever I want, basically. But I would like it to be snapped in this uh, scenario. And what I would like to do... First of all, I want a few more points. Right, and I will just make them a bit more, something like this. And I will connect. 
connect them as well and I'm going to move them a bit uh, this was not what I wanted Next year for sure, I mean not for sure, but I really hope so, yeah. Okay, oh I cannot zoom out anymore, um, let's see. Let's go with channel 5, right? Um, oh. Velocity of 1. Notes. Um, let's go with, let's say, 5 random up. Velocity already I can change. Let's go up and down, so maybe there will, there will be also no notes. Midinus, yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> it's dangerous, actually. You know, I mean, uh, I think I think it's fate that it's on uh, Steam also because it is like gaming. You just get sucked to it, and uh, you can lose hours upon hours upon hours, which is good. Uh, cool. I mean, cool and good. <laughs> Uh, I'm losing it. All right. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Why they are not all on channel five? I want them all on channel five. All right. And let's take the duration down and change also the duration a bit. All right. It will go up. Okay. Now we need some. You see, this is what I mean, Nornek. Um, for example, although I can do this here also, but for example, to have like a step that you can set it to trigger every now and then. Every now and then I will check again the points, right? And then you don't need to patch things back, but of course it's also possible to do something like this. I will have a point, let's say somewhere here. Far, far away, in a kingdom far, far away. Right, and only this point will come back. I hope it will not cause any issues, actually. I hope not. I guess not. Let's see. Right now, every once in a while, it will just be triggered. Right? Something like this. Yeah, traveler trigger, yeah. Exactly, like you can set it a set amount of... Uh, like a counter trigger, I guess, you know, that you can can count. I guess. But like this, it's also possible, you know, you just put it somewhere there. And that's it. And let's add even probability to this. So if I had, had if I had, if I add here another point, let's say, Let's say here, right? And this will be muted. 
but it will also be sent here and this will be random right so there's a chance it will go here right and it will take longer for it to reach its the other direction you can set a small circuit nearby and link up two directions one direction will have a path weight at maximum and it will only trigger every 99 loops <laughs> Right, but here we have some probability, which is cool. Is it still going? Yeah. Right, so there's a chance it will go to the other direction. Or there's a chance it will trigger this as well. Okay, now we need a voice. As we say, Oya <laughs> Broch. Something please not heavy on CPU. I don't want another FM operator. I want to do this first of all with the bass, just a second, this. Cool. Um, pathway also affects probability. Yeah, this I understand. For random points, this I understand probability, but is how many times a path gets chosen? before moving on oh this is this is interesting all right this is so this is basically a counter if you have a round robin and then you select a, a different weight so this is basically a counter so cool so you can patch it nice let's try this actually so let's say i want it to go so no probability right no probability. I want it to go here, which is this one, to go, let's say, four times, right? So I want it to go in this direction four times. One, two, three, four, and then to the other direction. Let's see if it works. One. Yes, it works, too. Nice, all right. There's a counter. Cool. Three and four, and then it will go to the... Nice. Indeed. Perfect. Perfect. All right, again, I need... I need a voice that is not CPU. It's not heavy on the CPU. Wow, let's do... Let's let's go wave shaping. Um, v... Sign, I think it's called. How is it called? The sine wave from right. And of course, of course, of course, the li lovely, lovely wolf. And let's see if we have the fold. Oh. Yeah, science of life. There is a counter. There is a counter, which is cool. Um, actually, what I want is something polyphonic. Wolf is not polyphonic, I guess. No, it is polyphonic in VCV, which is cool. Although I don't really need polyphony because I have there also probability on the notes, if they will play or not. Right? So let's, let's have a look without probability. Let's do something this first. Um, okay. VCA. Just for a second, um, and then we'll let's let's go with another ADSR because there is also length five. Okay, what's happening here? Probably MIDI panic. All right. Okay, let's wait for it now. Is this also awesome mute? This has to be mute. Now, are you ready? Are you ready? All right. 
right, this was interesting. Let's cancel the thing with the probability, with the velocity, it will go only up. And this will be, this will control the width, right, of, um, of wharf. And let's also do something like this. Let's see if I can make it before it triggers again. Because I want this to be polyphonic. I couldn't make it. Okay, let's wait for it one more time. Yes, Wolf and Nitrous, also Snoopy over the hills. And also have a look at the new mode, two modes actually, which is quite insane. Which is quite insane. Wait for it. Yeah, you can have nice. You can have a uh, in parallel order in uh, order. In parallel or in series, <laughs> you can have uh, filters. So you can have on one channel um, one filter going to the other, or two filters in parallel, for example. Or you can have stereo with four filters, which is insane. Okay. Resistance is futile. <laughs> okay, cool. So we have a counter, we have a flower. And we have all of the other stuff. Is it? No, I, I changed the notes, yeah. Um, it's weird, but... something pulsating or let's use again this bass voice but for an, a different let's gate something let's gate something yeah the blue scale it's a Halloween blues I'm gonna call this patch Halloween blues <laughs> which Halloween is still uh, not so close to us, but still, Halloween blues. Okay, I think I will use another Soz. I'm starting to use Soz more than Psyche, because it's much um, friendly for the CPU. And let's use um, Punch. Los Panchos. Los Panchos. And I'm using Punch and not Slap, because I like to have more something on it and okay 
and let's use the pitch from the base module, right? But I'm going to gate this. Oh, I have just one more channel then for the solo, all right. Um, I had somewhere here a 16th. I don't want random, but... I oh, know it's not its lowest. Okay, I'm going to use um, Oh, there is something No, let's do this Let's do this Wow, I wish Mook Slicer was, was already available, but it's okay sample and hold and I will sample the pitch information right but with a different trigger so let's say every summer the clock divider right I have two even or three even somewhere and where are you I will find you ah no I wanted to add also manipulator a uh, Mook Slicer should be available soon, I don't know, this is uh, in the Mycelium event, they said that... Uh, that it will be available soon. Okay, let's do 19. To add a small mixer, I want to add manipulator. I have to, it's a must. Funny, it was on Sonic State the other day. It's such an old plugin. Oh, the ADEC 112. How do you like it? How do you like it? so deep, right? Right, this is what I wanted, something pulsating. Okay. Um, how can I do this? Maybe I cannot manipulate it, and this will be the the so-called solo. I just have to send my mic also to. Cool. Right. So now here we have ECV. I don't know if I 
can if I can play this polyphonically I'm pretty sure I cannot but it's also okay Yeah, well, the grain size depends on the length of the loop you recorded. But yeah, I hear it from many people that they want, they wish it was, uh, the grains would have been shorter. Even. Okay, let's see. Let's see now, it's me playing twice. I will just, for a second, I will turn off the mic, all right? And I will not send it.
Okay. I'm going to desert this idea. Because it's not going to work. <laughs> But I can add something different. Uh, let's go with another source. Right, let's go with a filter. CPU with another river. Just a second. All right, cool. So sorry I know my computer will suffer but this is the last voice for today and I need a reverb before the filter because I need distortion a bit and this will help me with the distortion um, and I need lots of reverb also afterwards
indeed. Indeed, my computer is going to suffer even more. But, but, this is worth suffering for. Let's see. started from this I'm going to play a bit I don't know let's see what will happen
cool. <laughs> yes, my computer was a bit... Uh, the CPU... The computer was screaming for help a few times, but it was fun. And as you can see, you can lose yourself inside this uh, sequencer. Um, which was cool. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Very cool. What should I say? Thank you for joining, everyone. Thank you, Nornek, for joining as well. Thank you for Midinus. Um, cheers, Kyle. Thank you. And yeah. Yes, it was fun. It was fun. Um, indeed. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. Um, I hope to see you again next time. And uh, cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much. Ciao. Uh, if I can find the button. <laughs>